that you oh, it's beautiful this is gonna be awesome night I'm here for a couple nights heading up north again it's cooler by the lake here I'm in Oklahoma and just wanted to show you guys what I get to enjoy for the next couple of days If I could park right up inside something like this, it's my favorite. I love when pine creates this little bed and no brush, but it's very soft. I would make this the spot for my little cabin in the woods. so grateful for days like this the wind the trees the wind through the trees nothing invigorates me more or refreshes me more than to have days like this so I'm very very thankful Said that the wind would pick up. It'll be a nice sleeping weather. I love when the wind is howling a little bit through the trees. Such a beautiful, beautiful sound. So while the wind is howling outside, I am snug as a bug in a rug in my little cabin on the wheels. There's another camper right over there. It's a tent. They came in today. Can't believe that they are camping in this weather in a tent. I'm surprised that their tent is still up. Actually, I don't know if it's still up. There's a tornado warning. Um,
so there was a severe thunderstorm warning, tornado warning oh, issued just a minute ago. Oh, and so I am not sure what to do in this situation, actually. Um, I thought that somebody would come around. Uh, the tent campers hightailed it out of here in the motorcycle. And so I am just going to go to a spot that I'm not so open with. I'm very much in the open. So there's little lights that you see in the distance there. That is the bathroom shelter. I was outside of a clearing of trees that was near the water, which was a beautiful place to be, but I literally was the only thing out in this clearing and it did not feel safe. So I wanted to get to a place where I felt a little more sheltered and now I feel fine. <laughs> but that was... If you want to talk about what was the scariest I've ever been in my van, was this right now. Here's the bathroom shelter. That might be my best bet. any more severe weather. <sighs> so I am back here in the back. It's just raining lightly now. I, I drove over to where there is a concrete bathroom shelter in case sirens go off again. It's the only place that I saw that was remotely a shelter, but it seems like the worst of it has blown over. Uh, and so I, f I feel like I'm safe. I'm just going to remain alert and awake tonight, um, check the weather every so often. But it seems like the, the front moved by pretty quickly. That's always the part where the tornadoes form between where the cold and the warmer air is right at the front. And that was when the sirens went off. I looked at the radar and it was right over us. So. I think it was just to alert us that there could be possible tornadoes and to watch for them and to be awake. Uh, so I am now awake. <laughs> uh, so this is something that I thought I'd show because I have talked about other situations of preparedness and weather preparedness is something that I haven't covered mainly because I try to stay out of weather like this and I did I checked the radar and it said that this front wasn't moving in until much later today it's about 2 30 in the morning right now and the weather alert was issued at 1 a.m. 12 55 or something like that and yeah, that is something I was not counting on. I, I, my plan was to be at my stepdad's house when this weather hit, because I know Oklahoma, when there's rain, you don't want to be out anywhere, especially during tornadoes. And uh, when I was down in Texas, in Missouri, Bev, uh, right near where her glamp ground is, all around there got hit by a tornado, a uh, touchdown. So I wasn't gonna play around when I heard the sirens, but I just don't know what the options are. I'm at a state park and I'm in an area where it's tent camping. And so I don't know what the rules are and I don't know if there is a shelter at state parks 
So that's something I need to investigate. I guess now I will be more prepared for something like this. The worst part of it is over, obviously, and I am safe, but never had this happen where I am sound asleep and planning to pack up in the morning and I ended up having to, I packed up I now this is the good thing the good news is I can pack up my camper in one minute flat the bad thing is is I don't know where to go from here so I'm I am at least all safe and sound back here but all of my I literally just took everything off of the countertop secured my bed got in front cab area and got all the window coverings down so I could see I had my keys in my hand because they're always hung over there on the hook and right when the sirens went off I looked outside and it was very still I didn't see anything so that's when I just started scurrying around and packing up and yeah I think at the most it took me three minutes so I'm glad that I know enough, I know how to pack up really quickly for that type of situation, but man, I'm now I'm wired because I was awakened. I'm gonna check the weather again. So I survived the night, obviously. I'm here. I didn't run into anybody else that was going around seeking shelter. The tent campers did leave. They're the only ones that I saw leaving. So I guess for me, that is the one thing I feel the most unprepared for is that change in weather when it is so quick. So if you have any comments or tips about that when you have encountered those situations it would be very helpful to not only me but others who view this and browse the comments. I usually follow the weather but there have been two times now when I have counted on a certain type of weather and it has changed very quickly. Once when I didn't expect it to go cold and it dropped really suddenly to about 22 degrees Fahrenheit and while that's not very cold for me in that situation I was I just felt unprepared and now I'm more prepared I can probably take that kind of cold for at least a day and then I would move on like I did then but for when I I've also been in those situations when I've been on the road and you get an alert to seek shelter fast. And I think those are the scariest because you're out on the open road sometimes and really the only option is to go into an underpass, if there's even an underpass, or into a ditch somewhere and hope that whatever it is goes by you. So I, I don't know. I have not thought those situations through and last night more than anything I think it just surprised me because I was sound asleep and I got awakened by a siren and it took a while for me to get my bearings as to what actually was happening. Uh, I know being in Oklahoma that that's a possibility but I, I had checked the weather and the weather said that it wasn't coming until today and actually it's not even raining today. So I don't know what was going on there, but there are times probably too when I wouldn't have service. Last night I happened to have cell service in the state park, which was nice because I wouldn't have had that in some areas that I've been in the last couple weeks and days. So that's something that I don't hear much about. Usually when you see people in severe weather, they're showing you how they have prepared to be in that type of situation. And I, I guess I just haven't seen people talk about what to do when they're in a situation that comes on them suddenly. I have been in the desert when the winds have been really uh, gusty and for my smaller rig it wasn't a big deal. I know for those who are taller they 
they wave around a lot. If I just point my nose toward the wind, I don't feel it as much and all you hear is the sound of it, but I don't feel the rocking as much as I know some of the bigger rigs probably feel. So it would be interesting for me to hear from you. <laughs> I guess I'm usually the one that tries to show you what I do in different situations, but I really haven't heard a lot about what people do. And so I'd be interested to hear that. I hope you <laughs> got something out of this video. It was more just to show you that shock and awe of, wow, how, did, how that changed so quickly for me. But I am safe and I am moving toward more temperate weather. And so I hope to see you in the next video.